into something amazing. Anyway, you are what? Sweeping up? Yeah. Cleaning? Good, good, good. And what are you doing, mate? Making the sofa. Making the sofa? Yeah. Or you tidying up the sofa? Yeah. Or you making the sofa? Which one? Tidying up. Tidying up. Let me see your hair. Okay, yeah. so we're taking out your plaits and look what the barber did to your head. Come cut, because it was plaited. She's cut all the front there. So now we're gonna stick your hair all the way down to this level. If I skiff all over your head. Wild head boy. What about you? No, no, your hairline is fine. That's why I don't like no one troubling your hairlines. Anyway, let's get tidy. provisions that you provided for our family, Father. We're so grateful for all that you have given us. We're grateful for the protection that you will give us today and the protection you have given us thus far. Father, you have never let us down. Has he ever forsaken us? No. Has he ever done us wrong? No. Does he always keep us protected? Yes. And he will continue to keep us protected. He is our shield and our buckler and will continue to keep us in alignment, keep us focused. So we just pray for obedience the strength to be obedient the strength to stay righteous to stay integral to stay fully focused on the most high and we pray that anybody you come into contact today is of the most high and if they're not of the most high well they see the father in us they see the light in us that we're able to 
you know, shine our light on the darkness today, Father. So we are extremely grateful for all that you are and all that you're allowing us to become. Father, we thank you. We thank the Holy Spirit that we know will be with us today, the Advocate, that will stick with us when we give thanks to the Messiah, uh, the sacrificial lamb who died so that, you know, our sins can be forgiven. Um, thank you for the grace, Father. Thank you indeed. We are kings from the royal house of Judah, from the 12 tribes of Israel. Our king is David. Our king is also Yahushua. We will rise and lead. Anything man made is first. And for that, we are truly grateful, Father, in the name of the Most High. We give thanks, hallelujah, hallelujah. and so it is. Hallelujah, and so it is. There's a new king in town. Is your wife? He has. He's arrived. Indeed, indeed. Mm -hmm. Praises to the Father. Hallelujah. So I feel like at the end of our prayer, we should add that. We know we talk about the kings. Okay? Okay. Okay, so got to film but what have we done so far uh, <laughs> we've we, actually achieved the main everything that we need to do today <laughs> <laughs> what was it we bought a cot a mattress um and some little accessories for jojo so yeah so he can come out of our bed <laughs> come out of my bed man he's walking now he just gets up climbs over everybody feels like he's invincible and yeah mm -hmm. on the edge of the bed it's too much it's too much i need my space or i can't even get close to my wife what are you gonna do no you to get close to i'm gonna stay on my side you stay on your side yeah you stay on yours <laughs> this is a barrier barrier boy tonight London, I thought, no, I thought you were saying on your side. <laughs> you can't take it back now. We got, we got rid of the barrier to create another one. Not, like, I like to use pillows. I know you do. Like, I like to have pillows. Like 15 pillows. <laughs> so, the new challenge is, it's really hard to find, you know, basic pillows for us. So, so we're looking for a sheet. We're looking for a makeshift what, sheet. What sheet? They ain't got no cot sheet here. Exactly, that's what I'm saying to people. It's hard to find these things. You know, specifically like a cot sheet. That, that shouldn't be that hard. Just these three pillowcases. You're going to unstitch them and show them back to the other. So instead, right now we're looking for. I mean, we did find a shop that can deliver it, but they said. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I really want space tonight. It's happening tonight. Your night, so we can get like a, let's get a single, single. and then like I said let's get a, a blanket just to give it more cushion singles are that way I think so then we passed it then. They've definitely got singles here, but it's fine in there because I've seen them here. I mean, they're not like, the main places to look though. It's just this. I'm sure. Remember, their stock changes all the time. So, what they had three months ago when we they weren't happy when I walked past them. They're here. They're light, there's light colours, but I don't see pure white. But these are fine. Okay, then. You don't fine. want it too white anyway. No. Oh, I do actually. I know that. Yeah, that's what's coming tomorrow, right? Yeah. Flat sheet. That's not. That's a double. double. This is a single. 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 Ah. What's that behind that? Is that white or the beige? That's cool. Single. It's one flat sheet, 
and one pillowcase. He hasn't used pillow yet, but we will eventually. That will work. Oh, cool. that will work. Well done, High five. Well done. You did it. Right, blanket. What would I do about you, huh? Without me, you'd still be in the UK. Where? Instead of the holy one that they've got. No, the blanket, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we only need. I thought you were talking about the sheet. No, the sheet's fine. about the blanket. Yeah, they don't need nothing too thick, man. They don't even use it too much. No, it wasn't about the thickness, it was about whether it was nice or not. So we're looking for a blanket now. This is curtains is, yeah. and cushions. It must be back you, there. You like to wear the blanket as a coat. So. Sorry. <laughs> so it's something that I'm going to have to look at all the time. On you. You have to look at the one we got. And the boys have made so much holes in it. Exactly. I thought that's why I was replacing it. You know what? I was, get, get what you want to get. I was still keeping the old one. That's like an old blanket. Exactly. It's comfort. It's I comfort. Thought, I, thought, I thought we were evolving into our new. We are. Not yet. Not yet. You're we, not ready. We ain't done the new nothing yet. You're not ready. It's not that I'm not no, ready. You, not we. It's not time. Really, I should have said, I thought you were evolving into your new. It's not time. Don't look like they've got any blankets so you here. Need a blanket then. Oh, so, when we go back, we could just run up and get your yeah, blanket. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Um, yeah. Do, oh, I need some. The boys need some. The boys need. We need food shopping. That's what we need. The boys need. Baby, help me for me. I don't know what you're talking about. So adding stuff is not helping my brain. I'm trying to form sentences. <laughs> I struggle in this area. The boys need exercise. Like paper, blank paper exercise books. I mean, yeah, lined paper. I just saw some downstairs. Four fifty. Oh, look, they're there. The Malcolm ones, exercise books. Yeah, I'm looking for exercise books for the children. For what? I'm looking for exercise books for the children, for their homeschool. So this is usually where we come to get all our homeschool supplies. <laughs> and yeah, it's great. They have such a new section, everything. Rifle in home is rifle home. Ah, okay. Oh. No. You know what they're gonna do with that? Rip every last paper out. You need something like this. Uh, next time, come here. I'm sure you never paid this price for their for their drawing books. No. That they were just tearing sheets out, tearing sheets. Are they still tearing them out? No, but Daniel's lost a. It's just a couple. I've He's told him to couple. not tear out not one. Yeah, I know, but babe, you're not always around. So what happens is he does it wrong, and then. He gets upset with the picture and he tears it out. He doesn't like it anymore. Just get two of these, but, but hold them, babe. Don't give them to them. Because these boys, they love paper too much, right? I don't know children love paper, paper, paper. <laughs> Thing is, there's a whole ream of paper at the, at the house. Remember I told you should bring the paper? What did you say to me? No, we shouldn't have bought the paper then. But we're going to bring the paper now. Wait there, Jojo. I'm coming, all right, mate? <laughs> they got a whole heap of books here, but so some of them... The boys have literally got almost all of them. Yeah, they've like, got practically all of them. I've just... Yeah. I have definitely gone in. Look, look at Reem here. No, because they're not going to do it. Well, that's what I've been saying. Huh? That whether you put, buy paper in a book or buy paper in a ream, they're still going to rip it out. 
No, but when it's in a wheel, it's different. Because you have to put your foot down, bro. You have to put your foot down. I put my foot down, but like you said, I ain't always there. Look, look at these books. These are really good. We've got them. Good? We've got them. What everyone. Did the say today? <laughs> so, Kel's got all of these books. He's gone into this. He's seen this. And he's seen it, but he's seen it with a woman. Inside of a woman's figure. Let me see if I can find it. And then, look, he's seen this. <laughs> now, he's telling me. He's gone to his mum and said, he's what? He's telling me. Mummy, you know you had a penis inside of you. It's hidden inside your vagina. I said, mm, yeah, no, I do not. <laughs> Mummy, how do you know? Big argument was arguing for like 15 minutes. You can't Mummy, blame me. how do you know? Because you can't see inside of yourself. I said, Akel, <laughs> I know. I, I said, listen, maybe somebody does have a penis inside their vagina. I don't know, but I don't. Oh, but okay. these books are really good. I think they're very good books. Like, yeah, they are. They've got all of them, the insects. And they're they such a good price. All. Like 34 CDs is a really good price. Yeah. I'll put on the screen how much that is. <laughs> Do you want your daddy? Is that what it is? So what? Oh, my what I'm to you. Can you manage? Take the trolley. All right, so that's the stationary section of Malcolm Mall. More toys? More toys for Jojo. More toys for you. For Jojo? How many toys have Jojo got? A load that he dashes all over the place. He never responds. He don't like oh, toys. Do you know what he wants? Adult things. He does like toys. Bro. Get him a knife and fork. A stainless steel knife and fork. And <laughs> he will be entertained for days. Like toys. Because for having toys, he's angry. They're not stimulated. And you know that, baby. We're just... Yeah, he just wants older toys. Dad, no. He wants older toys. He don't want them little things that you're buying in. We're looking for. We're looking for older toys. Looking What's this? I don't know. You look at that way. I'll Dancing rabbit way. and something. What are you mumbling about? You being that dad about you don't need no more toys. He definitely does. He hasn't got any toys. All of his toys he's had to his birth. That's a lie. A I bought him a whole set of toys the other day. The softball, we couldn't bring everything, and that was big and bulky, and we didn't have space. Things got left behind, and now he hasn't got anything. <coughs> what about a keyboard? It's too noisy. Remember the last keyboard? That little thing that he pushed is about that big. Either one of your other children broke that. Well, no, it was working perfectly fine. They just broke the back of the battery team, yeah, so but it was still out. still working. But he don't want to play with it. All right, well, he wants what big this? people's things. Yeah, get him this. He can pull this. He needs to get something. This is wood. You don't have what? Termites. Do you need to work? It's just me stuck in the house with him. And he just... I can't do this at home all the time. I have other things to do. I need something to keep him occupied and quiet. I can't just put him in front of a kitty every day. Although a kitty is really good. Sand. Not the mic, like the truck. I don't know. Yeah, that works. Board okay, games. Yeah. I don't think he wants to play Monopoly. <laughs> Look, 
It's a lion. It's there. Oh, you got it. Oh. All right, so we've got the bed sheets, we've got the stationery, got the toys, got the cot and the blanket. These are for those of you that are planning on having babies in Ghana. I have a friend who's having a baby in Ghana in a few months. I'm so excited for her. Joey. Remember we used to oh, sell this, these? This is the puppy meat. Mm -hmm. We used to sell these. I know they still love it. I still love them. Once he starts eating, whatever that's gonna be. Doesn't have to he just puts it to his mouth. I know okay. Coco had that one. Just check it's blue inside. Alright, I have the So now we're thirsty and so is this boy. So we are heading, uh, Malcolm Moore has a bunch of restaurants and cafes down there so we're heading there to go and get a drink and feed this boy some breast milk. So yeah. Go, go around, go around. No, 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 go around. So we're going to drop off the trolley and then just head into the sick cafe. Real quickly, because I'm thirsty, man, my mouth dry. And this boy, say hello. Yeah, all right. Yeah, go there. I'll leave her trolley there. He's gonna feed. We're waiting on our ice caramel. Where is it? Yeah, ice caramel uh, coffees with almond milk. So this is a really nice shop. The owner's really nice. And he's now quiet. It's mm, the ice caramel latte. Not latte. Is it a latte? The frap. Frap. Ice coffee. No, it's not frap. It's ice coffee. It's supposed to be a frap. But they did it with. They did it blend the ice. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how it's meant to be, isn't it? Mm, what? Well, blended? Yeah. Yeah, supposed to be blended. So what happened? They didn't do it. Oh. So what's all with the drinks? They sent it back. Oh, yeah. It was um, ice cubed and not blended. So you got so, crushed ice? Yeah. Are you alright now? That's your milk. Hello. Leave things alone, the man. He's good. Holding back. <laughs> so we're trying to discuss what we want for dinner today. And we're thinking she was fire, but the potatoes are hitting this here. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to get good potatoes that don't have those little eye things. Because then the potato becomes toxic. So. Don't want to. The thing is, you can get good potatoes here on the day of delivery, yeah. and then you have to cook them that day. Otherwise, it's a wrap. Start growing. Decline from there. Um, so yeah, chef is fire. Then we said fish, but you don't want to fry fish. No. Why? Who likes the smell of fried fish? I don't. I love the smell of fried fish. House. I 
just don't like it on my clothes, but I love the smell of perfume. And where do you think all of that fibrous smell is going to go in that small apartment? Out the extractor fan. Baby, because it's not that big, it's like this. I bought that so we could just cook it like a roast, mm. roast carrot. Let's save that to Sunday then. Do a, do a fancy roast, but we still need potatoes. You need your chocolate puddings. Yeah, you don't need potatoes. Do you know what? I don't know how to make them gluten free, baby. I don't think they'll rise, I don't think they'll taste good. They will rise. They're going to be pancakes. They're going to be pancakes. <laughs> Rice flour. Hey, we're raising ages. We need Aunt Bessie. We've got Aunt Bessie here. You know what though? You used to eat the Aunt Bessie in the UK. Yeah, but they have gluten-free Aunt Bessie in the UK. You know. They might have a good. I'm not eating anything frozen from Ghana in the last three years because... On the way here, it defrosts about ten times. <laughs> By the time you eat it, you'll get wet. Oh, yeah. Oh, perfect. Thank you. That looks good. Thank you, boss. Cheers. So that's how it's meant to be. Look at Joey's face. <laughs> He's going to grab it. You don't know your son yet. I know. I'm trying to be quicker than him. Mm. Perfect. Amazing. Good. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> It's been a while since they saw you guys. Yeah, they forgot. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, Look how big this guy is. He is cute. Say hi. Say hello. You don't remember her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then they grow so fast. Too fast. Too fast. This is so good. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> But how are you guys doing otherwise? Really good. Very well. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. Yeah, very good. And the boys, they're just in the playground. I was just about to ask. Yeah, you. they're playing. They're good. Getting very big. Yeah, everyone's well. That's good. I'll let you guys enjoy your chocolate. Alright, thank, thank you. you. I wonder what time I put them in there. She'll call you if you're late. Oh no, just don't call out your name. So good. Oh, he's so cute. So good. You can't have this one. Yeah. <laughs> you give me none of your milk. <laughs> yeah. Love you. You got lipstick on. Um, <laughs> <Do you know? laughs> 
we have a point in there Anyway, so we're really rusty with this whole vlogging thing, aren't we? Uh, no. The way I cut it up, watch. That's not, that's not real. Yes, you're rusty. You've got it many times to vlog. Oh, no, I haven't been pulling up my camera. Yeah. That's, that's I mean, that side of it. That's why we should go sit down and talk to you to fill up the space. <laughs> Our voice is going to be. I'm trying to make it too. No, our driver's here. Dixon. Mmm. So, Dixon's here. Our driver. Oh, yeah, what's he doing? Um, so. He's waiting for us. He's waiting for us because when we're in a car, we, um, well, we have our driver, but it's just easy. We kind of blend it between the Ubers and the driver. Because if you just get the driver, trust me, they just try to chop you. They can't chop you, but they just get miserable. So I just blend it up. We got Uber from our house to our destination, but now we've got the cot. And we can't get the cot in the Uber and all of our children and the buggy. So we call our driver and he will take us and we'll get the Uber to take the cot to the house. I mean, at the house. There you go. So we don't have a car. We have a car. People assume we have a car. Imagine, people assume we have a car. That car, hey, when I start telling the story about what's happened in the last couple of months while we were in a car and all those things, it'll make more sense. A lot of people assume we have a car and have all these expectations. Brain freeze. That's it, that's it. Hold him. Assume that we have a car. Ages. But actually, our car, the blue car, you guys see, was a rental. Like, we rented that car. Like, I wouldn't buy a car in Ghana. I just wouldn't. Like, I made that decision a very long time ago. Um, for us, it made more sense to rent a car um, at the time. So... Mm. And one of the main... One of the main reasons is because we haven't finished building our house. And for us, it wasn't logical to buy the car that we want. It wasn't logical to buy that car and have nowhere to park it. So man, I buy a car and I know how to park it. Like it's backwards, isn't it? You don't yeah. buy a car and you don't have a house. No. Um, so yeah, the car we had was a rental. So you know, when you and, assume. Mm, and so when we was in the village, obviously we needed the car to get to and from. Um, with all the children and stuff, but hey, it's but now we're in a car for a little while. Um, so yeah, don't need a car anymore. Oh, we do need something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't even had lunch. We haven't even had lunch. Lunch? We're gonna go on the road. So have, you, have you decided what that is then? It's going to be chips. <laughs> chips. I wish I could get a good portion of chips right now, but a good English portion of chips. I miss about the UK. It's a good old chip shop. Good old chip shop. It's a fish, fish and chips. Or a pie. Meat and potato pie. You know what I mean? I wonder what the sound of it is going to be like for this. It's quite loud in here. I'll be fine, but let's check it. So the children's time is up, so we're gonna go and pick them up from the children's place. So they're in this little games. That's it. Boys, let's go. Yes! I love you. I love you. Bye. Enjoy yourself? Yeah. Come in and come give me shoes. Bye. That was so fun. And Daddy, um, can I have some water? Yeah, could you get your shoes on first, please? Okay. Ready? Let's go. Good 
Would you enjoy yourself, boys? Yes, Come in demanding water. Mummy, mummy, we need water. We started our new fitness routine. We've been in two or three days though. Yeah. But what happens is when we take a break at seven, it just we miss it. Well, we miss two days and then that's it. And it's so hard to get the momentum going again. But yeah, it was just picking up and then Sabbath, which I was very grateful because I needed my Sabbath this week, or I needed my Sabbath. But then I took an extra Sabbath on Sunday. <laughs> You're laughing at me. <laughs> and then yesterday it rained. <laughs> We're raining in the gym though. <laughs> But no, today, but it, was, it was one of those days, you know, yesterday was one of those days, we had a nap, it was so nice. But today we're getting hard, babe, because yeah. I've seen my body change, I've seen your body change, and we've only been in the gym, I'd say, consistently a week. And actually, I swam on Sunday. And? That is a workout. <laughs> okay. I swam on Sunday, and then yesterday, I did some leg raises, like... No, we need to leg up like that. leg up yesterday. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, today we're going to the gym and we will film it and we're going hard today. And I'm show you our little routine that we've got going on, a little couples routine. Uh, motivating each other, pushing each other. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gym tonight. And we can talk about what our actual goals are. Yeah. What our goals are. We'll be, listen, we're going to be very vulnerable with you guys about our journey. Well, me, maybe more than you. I'm not being vulnerable with them ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really vulnerable because my sisters, because I know how hard it is to... Hey, your body changes. I know. Achilles is taking over. I know how hard it is when you get to a certain age after you have a few children and your body just doesn't go back. I was like, oh, okay, we're not slapping back this time. Just... So, um, when you yeah, stretch out the elastic band so much, stretch it, stretch it, stretch it. There's only so much four, you can stretch him. I feel like fourth baby is where it's like your body's like, mm, you're gonna have to do a little bit more than just nothing. So, yeah, I haven't worked out in about three years, which is really bad. Like, consciously, I've just been like having an active lifestyle, work on the land, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Insert, insert the last time you worked out here. It's, it's nice. I'm, I'm enjoying it. So yeah, gym tonight. You ready? Yeah. So what happened the last time you went to the gym? Daniel. Daniel's egg. Daniel's leg was aching. How long, Daniel? Two days. Two days? No, it was two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half days. <laughs> okay. And then when after I done the gym, I went I knew it. And it was amazing. Oh, oh, I knew I should so work good. right there. Oh, that oh, was thank good. you. It's amazing. Thank you. Look at all that cheese. Oh, I saw it right there. Chicken, chicken, chicken. 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 Chicken
chicken So we're looking for that smoked beef. You have the brisola. Oh, Which okay. one? Where is it? Show me where, boss. Smoked turkey as well. That's smoked turkey, right? Where's the smoked turkey? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll get that one. The sandwiches. Yeah, like the boys. Lunch time because sometimes I have Daddy go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank 
you are doing what? Yeah, that's very sharp. Look at that. And there you're done, guys. We're going to put these back on. And then we put the secret bars back on. Secret bars? Get those. Right. Secret bars. Bring the knife, carry it well, Daniel. Bring the knife, carry it well. Remember it's sharp. Carry it well, please. Okay, come around this side. Watch what you're doing with the knife. Always watch the knife. Whoa. Oh. 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 Push up hard, hard, hard. Oh my god, I can do that. Washing the sheet. And you got him this little cute today. Aw, that's so cute. Yeah, you like I it now. The so yeah. I know. It's so glamorous. Oh. Right? Oh my gosh, ugly mattress. What is it? Hey, bring him, bring him. I think he might have to go lower. Yeah, me too. Wait, stick him in, and he might have to go lower. I don't want him to find me Yeah. 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 Whenever I feel like the energy in my house just needs cleansing, especially when we've had a really good day and it's been filled with, oh my goodness, so much grace. Especially when our day has been filled with the grace, the mercy, the blessings, provision from our Father. Just at the end of the day, you know what, everyone's tired. It has been a long day. It's been a fruitful day. It's been a blissful day. Um, it's been a righteous day <laughs> for our family. Uh, but yeah, as it nears bedtime, whew, the fruit of the spirit that is patience just starts to wane a little bit. And yeah, it just becomes a challenge to just push through and just to get to bedtime and settle the children um in a peaceful environment so yeah we just need to cleanse and reset ourselves and lighten the frankincense and the myrrh and just playing some righteous music some gospel just giving the glory to the father just hearing you know our brothers and our sisters praising and singing and just glorifying our father rapping even as you can hear, like, this is something. Yeah, so this is just one of those moments where we just really just need to reset. Like, the boys and Daniel are going to Josiah's cot. Their dinner is ready. Um, what else? yeah it's just a really great way to just reflect on our day um and just glorify our father really that's it 
um, you know when you've been out all day especially and you've been amongst other people, other energies, you've interacted with so many people, like sometimes it's hard not to absorb some of the, you know, the negative energy that is just out there, right? And uh, especially when you're sensitive in the spirit, like we are, yeah, it can be very intense. So, yeah, I'm happy. Just, I feel like the energy in our house reflects who we are. It reflects our father now. Um, I can feel his presence, you know, he's always guiding me and showing me, you know, just how to just be who he created me to be, to be more righteous. Um, and it's not perfection that he's looking for. It's purity. Like, what is my, what is my heart's purest desire? And it's to be more like him. And so therefore I need to have the fruits of his spirit, you know, as exhausted as we may be, or as challenging as a situation may be, just to always just come back to purity. He wants us to be like children. And a lot of the times, um, like we find ourselves just expecting way too much from our children. Yeah, we just find ourselves expecting way too much from our children and that's because we have really high expectations for ourselves. We have, we have high standards and, you know, the same standards we have for ourselves, sometimes we can hold others to as well and that's not always fair especially when they're children <laughs> you know and we all are at different levels of spiritual maturity and although some of us are maybe young um, in age we are let's just say we're just more mature you know we're elders in the spirit um, just simply because you've just been on this journey and this walk with the father just longer that's it really so as I cleanse and purify my home as I intentionally just reflect on just the grace the grace and the goodness that the father is pouring out onto our lives hello so let's get on with Mr. Evie Boys, boys, those are Josiah's toys. You're playing way too rough. Yay! Yeah, we'll leave it there. Aww. This is about to come back soon. This is Star Shop, Shark Villain. Shark Villain. Perfect. Is that space to walk through? For me, really, I'm the widest one here. Yes, yes. I can walk through that. Like well this. done, Daddy. High five. Yeah. Thanks, girlfriend. Well done, son. High five. Love High you. Five. You've done a great job. I guess you're so You've cool. got new pajamas for his new bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's see how big he is in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that is perfect. Yeah, he was just playing like that. His toys. On the bars. Oh yeah, go on then, grab some. Yeah. So first, you need to put enough toys in here so that it weighs down. Yeah. Just truck. Then slowly take it off one by one until. Buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> How cool! Oh, you did that with the elastic band. Things. Okay. Wow. 
Wanna my line for my baby tell me Side more often. Come on, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going! I'm down! Stop! I'm going! Why are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? But if we come down here and we want to film, this is a great shot. It's like the, the music is gonna be like you've got enough so far, right? You think? What do you mean? Just like shots. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just enjoying the vibe and stuff. Even if I am talking. Yeah, me. Why are you always waving to the camera, boy? <laughs> That's like a Sunday roast, eh? Mm -hmm. Corn fried chicken, sweet potato, rice, carrots. It's really good. Carrots, chicken, chicken, and everyone help. Avocado, sweet potato, mm -hmm. sweet potato, and like wash the rice. Yes. Daddy done the roast vegetables. I didn't do it. I done the chicken. <laughs> hey, you didn't do anything today. <laughs> yeah, no one offered me anything. It's okay. It's a lovely okay. apple crumble that we made. Yeah. It's a crumble and oak. It's a crumble and oak crumble. It's a crumble and oak crumble. An oak and crumble crumble. Well, actually, oats. on the screen, it looks like there's more oats than it's oats and almond. Almond, almond. almond flour. Ah, yeah. Almond and oat flour. Almond and oat oh, flour. Oh, it's going to be some nice almond oat cream. Nice. Exclusive. What's good, people? Excuse the noise in the background. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe. But I want you to do me a favor right now. I want you to check out my son's uh, YouTube page his new YouTube page. He's going through his rites of passage right now, going from a boy to a man, and I'm really, really proud of him. This is a proud barber appeal right now. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. I want you to like, and I want you to push the notification button and support him in what he's doing. Encourage him, um, you know. You know, sometimes you can start a YouTube channel and some of these young guys, unless they get the young ones, unless they get, you know, um, they see some feedback or subscriptions, they kind of fall off. But I just want to encourage him because he's doing great things. He's, um, you know, just exceeding my expectations that I had of him. And I know he's only just begun. So please go to his channel. It's Jadan Jacob. And yeah, it's Jadan Jacob. Um, you'll probably see it pop up after this video down below. So click it, subscribe, put the notification button on, go like all his videos, go write him a comment and encourage him to keep going um, out here in Ghana, on the land, doing his rites of passage. I'm here in the city right now, taking a well-deserved break, but he's on the land holding it down for me, you know, got the workers working, um, broke my generator, but that's all good. Uh, we go get that fixed. So yeah, just go and give him support and like, share, and, and subscribe to his channel, all right? And, Praise the Most High all day, every day. Today is actually Sabbath, so I hope you're all keeping your Sabbath um, holy and being set apart from the world. And yeah, all praises to the Most High. Hallelujah.